The objective within this lesson is to divide decimal dividends by non-unit decimal divisors. We did this the other day. How many tenths are in two? Right, 20. I can count by tenths all the way up to 20 tenths, which is two holes. There are 10 tenths in one, so there are 20 tenths in two. Dividing by a tenth is the same as multiplying by 10, and 2 times 10 is 20. We know that any division expression can be rewritten as a fraction. That fraction looks different from most we've seen before. The denominator has a decimal point, which is strange. It's different, but it's perfectly acceptable fraction. We can rename this fraction so that the denominator is a whole number. We can rename this fraction by multiplying by any fraction that is great equal to 1. What fraction equal to 1 will we name the denominator as a whole number? There's a lot of them. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use multiply by 10 over 10. That equals 20 over 10 te 1 tenth times 10 is 1. And 20 over 1 is equal to 20. I also could have multiplied by other things. For instance, if I multiplied by 50 over 50, you get 5 in the denominator, and 2 times 50 is 100. 100 over 5 also equals 20. Here's another problem. Let's write this as a fraction, 2 over 0 0.2. Let's try mul by multiplying by 10 over 10. 2 times 10 is 20, and 2 tenths times 10 is 2. And then 20 over 2 equals 10. So 2 divided by 2 tenths is 10. Here I have 2.4 divided by 2 tenths. What are some of your thoughts of what the quotient might be for this expression? Let's rewrite this division expression as a fraction. This time we have a decimal in both the divisor and the whole. What would we do to rename the divisor as a whole number? Right, let's multiply by 10 over 10. What will happen to the numerator when you multiply by 10 over 10? It's going to be renamed as a whole number also. 2.4 times 10 is 24. And 2 tenths times 10 is 2. 24 over 2. Which equals 12. So 2 and 4 tenths divided by 2 tenths equals 12. Okay, it's your turn to try. Rewrite it as a fraction. We'll multiply by 10 over 10 again. 2 and 4 tenths times 10 is 24. 4 tenths times 10 is 4. And 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Look over your work. Here we have 1 and 6 tenths divided by 4 hundredths. Let's rewrite this as a fraction. This expression is different from the ones we just evaluated. This one is dividing by hundredths. So our divisor is 4 hundredths rather than 4 tenths. Since our divisor is still not a whole number, and now it's a hundredth, we can't just multiply it by 10 over 10. 
the easiest way to rename it to a whole number is to multiply by one hundredths. One hundred over one hundred. One hundred hundredths. One and six tenths times one hundred is one hundred sixty. Four hundredths divided by multiplied by a hundred is four. And then so I have 160 over 4, which equals 40. So 1 and 6 tenths divided by 4 hundredths is equal to 40. Here's the multiplication sentence you use to check. 40 times 4 hundredths. write that out. Place a 0. 4 times 4 is 16. And then we have two decimal places there, so we have two decimal places within our answer. 1 and 60 hundredths is equal to 1 and 6 tenths, so our answer does check. Here we have 1 and 68 hundredths divided by 4 hundredths. We write it the same way. And again, multiply by 100 over 100. 1.68 times 100 is equal to 168, and 400 times 100 is equal to 4. That equals 42. Running my check. 400 times 42. times 4 is 8, place a 0, 4 times 4 is 16, and two decimal places here, two decimal places, my answer, 1.68, 1.68 matches, so my answer does check. One and sixty-eight hundredths divided by twelve hundredths. Rewrite it as a fraction and multiply by 100 over 100 again. You get 168 over 12. Let's do that division. 1, 4, 48. So it's 14. 160 out of 12 is equal to 14. 1 and 68 hundredths divided by 12 hundredths is equal to 14.